All right, here's my next boiler and engine. It's a return flue boiler. Very complicated to build. Has about a four or five horsepower engine, depending on boiler pressure. Five ball governor. There's a whistle, it's all below. Smoke box. Fire door. Fire box. And it has an ash pan and draft door as well. Has a manual pump. Great, got a one inch ram on it, and it also has a mechanical pump that runs off the engine off that eccentric right there. And small pump with just eight inch pipe, and I'll demonstrate how that works in a while, too. Of course, your water sight glass, tricocks. Run the engine. Uh, knocking you here is the pump right here. Not the engine, it's just that pump. So it's right now it's just circulating water back into the container here. If I turn off this valve over here, it turns off the return and goes into the boiler. So now it's pumping in the boiler. I don't really need any water, but that's what it's doing now. now if you look at the container now, it's not coming out of it at all. So everything is going into the boiler. That's with about 55 pounds of pressure. Here's the whistle. Turn down your volume. Really nice little oiler on it, swift oiler. Very hard to come by. Very expensive. And the engine uh, exhaust goes right up the stack and into there. And you can probably hear it. Great sound. The boiler is um, 42 inches long, but the boiler part of it inside is just 24 inches long. The rest is all smoke box and exhaust at the other end underneath that flywheel. And down in here you've got room for a huge fire, full length wood, 18 inch wood, and it goes up and it goes into the tubes and then up the stack. There's a big frame on it. Weighs about 800 pounds. Uh, the amount of tubes that are in it, there are, uh, let's see, 32 copper tubes rolled in. They're three quarter copper tube and they're rolled in and they're 24 inches long. So the crown sheets are about right in here to right about here. 
this pop-off valve set at only 75, but I've got another one coming and I'm going to put it up to 100. I've had it up to 125 with a different pop-off valve. So I'm opening this valve now, stopping the water from going into the boiler. It'll be available on eBay for sale starting tomorrow.